All righty, my friends. We are back. We are back. Villain Theory sent over a, a, a really cool document. And Villain, if you can drop that in the chat here, I think a lot of people will find that useful. I know it's linked to your new video that you just put out on modular sets, but it's a it's a ranking on like the challenge of the different modular sets. And so I think that this is going to be something that's super beneficial. Um, but I that's fun. That's really, really fun. Uh, that's cool. Vision was born, built to beat the Avengers, and nearly did so. Yeah. <laughs> I've been playing the game since it came out, so it's uh, hard to pick up what to play because all the choices. There are a lot of choices. There are a lot of choices. And that's one of the things, and I assume, actually, has the new challenge been posted? Um, where do I usually? I usually find those on Instagram, I think. Because villain, yes, thank you. Fantasy flight. Oh uh, nope, we have the the challenge from last week. We don't have the new challenge this week. But I really like the challenges that they're putting out, so that you can kind of like, you know, play along and have have those. I think that's a really cool way to do that. All right. So we have, what do we want to do? What do we want to do? Uh, Hella versus Vision go a good challenge and a difficult? Or do we want to go 6-7? Very difficult, difficult? No, let's go a good challenge, difficult. Ooh, I have not played Armadillo in a while. I think Armadillo will be a lot of fun, especially with the big minions that we already have coming to us in uh in the game all right like with hella not too difficult not too difficult yeah we got helps the player that's fun that's fun ultra easy hi what is this app you use this is uh this is not an app this is something that uh villain theory put together villain theory dropped the link uh you can go like four above your um your comment to find the 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 link and so this is just something that villain theory has put out recently uh so let's go okay let's go a good challenge let's go two good challenges let's go two good challenges how about that so we got armadillo and this is really nice um I'm going to just go under attack. Armadillo and under attack. I think that I haven't played under attack in a while. Reavers and iron spider sinister six. Ah, <laughs> uh, what did I say? Under attack. Also thematically, it makes a lot of sense since Ultron is my nemesis that we should go with under attack, right? Bomb scare and long shot. Let's go. Sar Dude, Sauron. I have nightmares from Sauron. <laughs> Sauron's so incredibly mean. What is it? Armadillo. Armadillo is so cool. He's the one. He's the giant minion that can have any number of tough status cards. Sauron is my. Sauron's really good. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna say he's not. It's a really good design. He is tough. I tried Protection Phoenix with Mutagen Formula and Reavers 5. Five games. All losses. That's a tough. That's a tough sm mashup right there. Especially in a Surge heavy deck. Oof. I'm rewatching the 90s original X-Men animated series. And Sauron was a weird... Oh, I didn't even realize that they were in that one. That's cool. It's really cool. What aspect should we be running... Odin to the main scheme, captive side face up. Where'd I put Odin? Reveal Nidiful Ear and Narm. Two hinder one, so that's gonna start with three. Pool, leadership, aggression. Ever played Psychic Vision? I have not. I really want Psychic to work. I just like have not been able to make it work. That mod set page looks 
fantastic. But this technology could cure cancer, but I don't want to cure cancer. I just want to turn people into... <laughs> oh, what hilarious. Narm. Attach Odin to the main scheme. Cat to side face up. Reveal Nidiful Ear and Narm. Set these outside out of play. Shuffling counter deck. Starts with one. When Hello would be defeated, if Odin is attached to the scheme, discard each attachment. All that good stuff. All right. Leadership. I, I, yeah. Okay. I really want it to work. I just like, it's, mm. I, I haven't, I have yet to find leadership or I've yet to find a psychic deck that works super well in true solo. I think I've had more success with it in multiplayer pool with all the icons. Ooh, I, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to avoid pool. I, I'm not feeling pool. <laughs> I'm not feeling pool. I'm sorry. I just not feeling pool. Um, let's try. Okay. Let's try. Let's try the leadership. I've got a couple of leadership. Mm -hmm. Let's try it. Justice feels natural for vision. Justice does feel pretty good for vision. Um, <sighs> okay. Spider Man's psychic ally is broken. Oh, the uh, Black Cat. Black Cat's pretty awesome. I also really like Wolverine psychic. Uh, so, Jubilee psychicking Wolverine. Be able to keep him around forever. I think that's pretty nice. Um, yeah. I think. I haven't played Black Panther in a hot second. Psychic will probably feel better in Vision. He can find the ally whenever he wants. Oh, because of density control? No. Why? I'm missing something. Ah. Oh, 616. 616. Ah. Ah. All righty. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. That makes... Okay. Okay. Cool. It's starting to click. It's starting to kick. Click. Let's try it. Let's try it. I didn't even think about that. That's cool. Let's go call for backup. Get our doubles. New Year's resolution was to not forget the doubles in these decks. Will you play only Avengers allies? Pro we could. No, because Vivian's champion. So, uh, Vivian is not an Avenger. But I think a, a Mighty Avengers deck... I haven't played a Mighty Avengers deck in a hot second. We, I guess we could on, not uncanny honorary, Avenger. I wish there was a way to play Vision with a Scarlet Witch ally. I am kind of surprised that we don't have a Scarlet Witch ally. I think that's kind of crazy. Vivian being so cheap but with good stats makes Psychic easier to set up too. That's true. That's true. Honorary Avenger. You want to try it? I'm down to try it. Sounds kind of fun, right? Um, we need the sidekick. We go side by side? I think so. I mean, Vivian, Vivian does work. Built that after the last stream? Really? Yeah? Nice. Where's my side by side? So do we not go suit up? Do we not go suit up here? Because we have 616 to recur. I think the other thing that I probably want to look at. Let's go Mighty Avengers. Actually, Mission Leader is going to be great in this scenario. Go Machine Man for the Android character. What am I looking for? Why did I grab M? To make the call, is that what I was going for? Let's get X. I guess we do have an 18 threat cap, which is crazy. Do we want? I guess we do want to throw in as many of the um side schemes because vivian can just clear them mostly specialized training vivian and a vision 
can clear. <laughs> when you play a psychic deck with vision, you're really just playing a Vivian deck. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> Let's grab uh, X Jet. Or not X Jet. Uh, Quinn Carrier. Because we got that build support in there. I think we probably want to go. Actually, you know what? A, what would be really interesting if we go frontline specialist, give us that plus four hit points, and then every time we take damage from an attack, which Hella is going to, and we just sit in intangible, and then we can just keep drawing. Since you don't have to keep readying Vivian, you get to do a lot of vision stuff too. Oh, interesting. Team building or deaf focus? Definitely deaf focus. We may go. We may go both of them. Honestly, what do we like? What do we think about that? For uh, I think it's frontline or surveillance, right? You go plus one thwart, or you go uh, the hit points. I kind of like the hit points idea. Um, what if we just Voltron Vivian? Four, six, eight, ten. Five, nine. Get ready. Two innovation side by side. X twenty three. Iron Man suit up. Inspired power. Leadership. Psychic. Three base resources. Ant Man. Got to have a sidearm. <laughs> oh yeah, because of the retaliate. Yeah, that's a good call. I lost track. I have not grabbed reboot yet. Sounds like we're just going to be running a 50-card deck. Heck yeah. Teamwork? If you want to get... Oh. Reboot? Does Reboot cost one? Yeah, it does. I don't know why I thought it didn't. Oh, the side schemes are going to... Actually, Hella and side schemes are best friends, now that I think about it. Maybe we don't want to throw all the side schemes in the deck. <laughs> um, yeah, it'll be fine. What's the worst that could happen? Reboot, but with a Canadian accent. Nice. Hey, Chet, what's the deal with the circular stickers? The circular stickers mean that they go back in my binder. I keep one copy of each card in the binder, and then the rest of the copies in a box sorted alphabetically over here. But I do, I am working on a video. I'm hoping Monday next week that is like my update on my storage because things have changed since the last video. That was my storage video. This is just being nostalgic at this point, but my storage video that I did, How to Score Marvel Champions, was like my first like real, like non live stream video. Gosh, I was so nervous for that video. <laughs> uh, good time, good, good, good time. What could go wrong? Exactly. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Two, four, six, eight. 10. All right, so we got the Psychic Vivian going on. Um, we can go X-23. I like X-23 because I feel like we're probably not going to be doing a ton of healing. But wait, if you only keep one card in the binder, do you not play through? No, so that's what the stickers are for. So if I have, like, Reboot, so one of the one of the copies has a sticker on it, just so when I'm sorting, I always sort upside down. So like when these are shuffled together like this, so I I sort and I can easily see the sticker or the face, and so they just go into different piles. And so like I usually just pull the stickers out and then like we'll just sort like this so that I can put my cards away pretty quickly. This is this is literally what I do, and then I just. Then you have all of these sorted, all the stickers, the binders, and then you just go for it. Black Knight with the piercing. Hmm. Oh, I haven't I haven't played Black Knight in a while. 
Super dense strike. Huge help with Armadillo. That's amazing. Yes. I forgot that we put Armadillo. Let, let's run Black Knight. Why not? Man, it's been a... Oh, it's been... You know how long it's been since I run Black Knight? It was before I switched to Dragon Shield. This isn't a... This isn't a... Uh, Ultra Pro. Is it... Like, this... This... Over a year. I have not put Black Knight into a deck in over a year. That's really funny. Where did I put my sleeves? Oh, there they are. Yeah. Plus, plus all of the big big guys also have uh, piercing. So yeah, that'll be good. That'll be really good. Does someone want to run boot camp for me? Black Knight is great against all the new scenarios that have millions of toughs. Ooh, interesting. Nick Fury, Maria Hill. I grabbed X. I think I think I think Nick is good. Nick is a good call. Let's grab Nick. Falcon and Joaquin can ready Vivian. Falcon, after Falcon attacks, spend a lightning resource to ready another champion's character you control. That's interesting. Falcon seems expensive for what he does. I, am I... I never use it, so it's the occasion. Not fair. He's just like, I wish Falcon had better stats. Iron Man for the attachments? We don't even have attachments yet. <laughs> People aren't going to know what to do when there's a Nick Fury hero and they can't play the ally, which is exactly what happened in Lord of the Rings with Gandalf. Gandalf, Gandalf in Lord of the Rings is more powerful than Nick Fury is in Marvel Champions, I think. Um... So there's a couple other combos which they I would say fixed uh Nick in this game compared to Lord of the Rings but it it'll be they had to make the hero enticing enough to play so that you didn't run Gandalf. So that's going to be kind of interesting. Um because I I will run I don't think I will run decks without Gandalf in Lord of the Rings. Like I very 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 rarely do that. Yeah, I grabbed Conqueror. And so the fact that they made a hero that makes me not be able to play the ally, but I still want to play the hero because he's that cool, gives me such hope for Nick. So I'm 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 really excited to see where they go with that. We are at 50 card or not 50, 40 cards now. Um Medlab could help. Medlap the oh no my sticker came off. Maria, I yeah Maria Maria definitely deserves to be in the deck. I'm trying not to put Maria in the deck, but she absolutely 100% deserves to be in it. I just self ban Gandalf in your decks and Stuart of Gondor yeah, and the fact that it's a cooperative game and you're allowed you're able to do that. Makes it all cool. Team training. Team training is... Oh, team training is probably pretty good. Yeah. Web Warrior! I'm so sad to not be able to use Nick Ally with Nick Hero. It's the multiverse. Robert Downey Jr. can play multiple heroes. Or characters. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 2, 4, 5. Let's go team training. Um, do we want attachments? I don't know if we need, um, I could see like X 23. I don't know if I need attachments really. Maybe it'll be Nick senior versus. G oh yeah. There you go. Pretty much every deck uses her. Yeah. Yeah. And so it's like, some sometimes I like to just mess around with it. Oh, I, I've I've been trying a challenge and I do want to stream it at some point. It's for Slay the Spire, but 
I, I've been trying to win a run without ever playing an attack card. And so the restrictions that I've allowed is you can draft a deck and you can uh, choose any character and you can have binaries so that you can have an another character's cards in there. It's been tough. It's been tough. I have not beat it yet, um, but it's, uh, it's, it's a good time. Nick Fury, but the Devil Hasselhoff. <laughs> yeah, nice. I tried the poison deck. Uh, the poison deck, I could not get. Um, it was too slow. It was too slow. So I think my next run, I'm going to try defect with uh, red cards and go like deal damage based off your. No. Oh, yeah. Juggernaut. If you can do juggernaut where every time you get def uh, every time you get defense, deal damage to an enemy. So the spire so good. It is. Leadership so powerful, they had to nerf it by making Nick and Maria. <laughs> they can make a new Nick Fury. The current one is MCU Ultimate version, a.k.a. the best, but they can make a classic 1920s. Ooh, that'd be cool. That'd be cool. Um, Are we kind of, are we, I don't think there's really anything else that I need to grab. Let's just run it. Pressure points is also <laughs> pressure points is a card in the game. Yes, pressure points is a card in the game, and like if you're drafting, because like I like you get to draft, and I think I I think I said draft over, not sealed, um, but like I I have drafted um, a pressure points deck, and so in Slay the Spire there's a there's a mode where you can set it up and have, um, like you can pick your deck at the beginning of the game by drafting instead of starting with the like, starter cards. Um, which typically makes it pretty easy, but it's fun. Rapid response. I don't have a rapid response in there. I could probably grab a rapid response. Good call. I think, yeah, especially with these big guys here, um, I think rapid response makes a lot of sense to have because you can, like, have Nick block rapid response hit nar or like block the narm attack but also if i'm just sitting in intangible um i may not need as many chump blockers as i think but we'll see i'm gonna i'm, I'm actually like i'm really excited about this 616 combo with sidekick because you can just kind of hang out and wait until the stars align and then you can get it then you can just drop vivian on the table and uh like if you draw vivian you're open hand you're coin to drop around the table right and so that's cool so vision starts in intangible mode uh while you are in dense mass form you get plus two recovery so you go up to five recovery and then while you're in intangible mass form you get plus one hand size that does not apply to the first turn of the game uh as a setup we put our mass form upgrade into play intangible side face up intangible states that we cannot attack or defend and we reduce the amount of damage Vision takes from each attack by two. When you flip him over, he has a two zero zero stat line. And as an action, we can change mass form. So if we switch to dense, we get plus two attack, plus two defense when we're in dense form. And then after you change to mass form, you get to draw a card. So it's kind of, it's a really fun hero to kind of mess around with and try and see how it's gonna go. I love that someone chose six one six for his address. <laughs> Giant Lasagna, how you doing? My boy Vision. You just joined Giant. You see this by the same token sent over this board. That's why we're playing it. It's so pretty. Yeah. Where it's half dense, half intangible. Villain pointed that out. Alrighty. When uh, Hello would be defeated, if Odin is attached to this scheme, discard each attachment and flip her to her on or her wounded side instead. Hella gets plus one attack and plus one scheme for every and plus three hit points for every uh, side scheme in the victory display. And when Hella is defeated, if Odin is not attached to this main scheme, you win the game. I got three days off in a row. Nice. Almost working 16 hour shift. Ugh. Oh, geez, that's tough. I'm glad you're you got some time off. Have you played Swoo? I have played a lot of Swoo. Yes. Is it any good? Yes. Swoo is very, 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 very good. Um, and I'm not saying that just because I love the IP. I do think it is a good game. Um, it's very, very solid. I think limited 
in terms of like draft and sealed is also very good. So it's an easy way or maybe not an easy, it's a inexpensive way to try it out. So it's good. You're in the sleep. You are, you have earned sleep. Heck yeah. Vision was one of my favorites when he came out. It's been a while since I played him. I don't really understand the hate. I don't know if vision has a ton of hate. You got five cards. Let's start us out. Here we go. We got side by side Professor X. I like seeing that. Black Knight side by side and just passing through. We're definitely going to mulligan these two. Immediately bad. <laughs> Black Knight is pretty interesting. Um, Professor X. I think if we just stay in um, intangible. Narm doesn't do anything to us. So I'm thinking that we confuse Hella because there are additional schemes in the deck. So we use Professor X to confuse Hella, and we can bring Black Knight in later with one of our make the calls. I'm finally done with more meetings and you're back streaming. Heck yeah. So we're going to mulligan Black Knight as well. And then we're going to use one of our make the calls to get it. But we're kind of really searching for Vivian or 616. Solar Gym also really works well build support and professor x for the build support let's go sidekick and a quinn carrier excellent ah uh, i think we're gonna oh my gosh we're we gonna have to go to starting starting with uh five cards is tough Vision 5, hand, yeah, right? So it's like we could drop Professor X, but we cannot play build support. Uh, we would have to flip into Dense, which wouldn't be the end of the world because we do have a Professor X to block Hella's attack. So I think we will probably end up doing that. Um, so we can flip into Dense form, draw a card, use that card to play build support Professor X, and we kind of get the ball rolling there. We get a lot of value out of the Confuse, the Clear, the Build Support, and then we can come back down. Any hate is wrong. Vision is a good boy. That is so true. We need health. Uh, I start with 11 health. And then Hella starts with 9. Perfect. And I actually have Hella counters. I have Hella specific tokens. As soon as they publish these Hella tokens, I bought them. Um, so these are plus one all the way up to plus four. I think there's a plus five, plus six in there as well. Um, but because she gets bonuses based off of how many side schemes are in the victory display, you can use these to to track that. Also, don't forget. I love it. this. This is amazing. This is amazing. <laughs> Those counters are hella good. Gonna have to go now, peeps. Good luck. Have fun, Nelson. See ya, uh, Edward. I love the don't forget. It's so great. Alrighty, so we're gonna flip up to vision. We're gonna go ahead and flip into dense form using the density manipulation action to draw into a reboot. We're gonna use a reboot to play build support. And then we're going to use these three to drop Professor X onto the table. Professor X has a forced response, which we're going to trigger to confuse Hella. Professor X is going to go ahead and thwart down build support, which means that we can go get a support, which we're going to go with Quinn Carrier. I was going to say we could go 616, but I, I would rather just use Quinn Carrier. So we got a Quinn Carrier um, and then plus one here. So Hella is going to get three hit points. Plus one attack, plus one scheme. Now we have a Quinn Carrier, which is awesome. We're going to go ahead and we are in dense form. I guess I don't need this card. I was like, I'm flipping, like the token removes the need for the card, which is pretty awesome. So we're in dense form. Um, Let's go ahead and I think we're just going to knock the tough here. He's incredibly flexible. His solar beam is still one of the best events in the game. F pure flexibility. Yeah. 
And then we get uh, five cards. We got Death Focus. I do like that. Genius. Superpower Training. Make the Call. And a Solar Beam. His ability... Hella gets plus one, plus one. Yeah, so I put that here. So this that's what these tokens are. It's how many side schemes. And then, so because she gets plus one, plus one, and then the three hit points and stuff. All right, we're going to add two threat to the main, taking that up to three. Hella is going to attack, which we will block with Professor X. So it's going to be three, four, five. It's going to be enough for X to be another one that bites the dust. Narm is going to hit us for two. We're just going to take that to the face. And then we got a card. Our card is a master plan. So this is going to go up to seven. He can also remove attachments. Uh, removing attachments is huge. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I think Shadowcat can do it too. Yeah, Shadowcat can remove attachments as well with her phased and confused. But it's it's huge. Huge. Alrighty. My turn. We are going to probably make the call for something. Um go deaf focus. Make the call for Black Knight potentially. Or we could just pull in X again. If we pull in X, we could go superpower training. Why not? Why not make Hella just like incredibly powerful? That sounds fun. Right? Sound honestly, yeah. Okay. We'll uh we'll do it. We will we will do it. Um let's go Quinn Carrier and a genius to play make the call. I'm gonna pull Professor X in. And we're actually gonna stun Narm. Okay, so X is here. X is back. We are going to use Solar Beam to play Superpower Training. And then Professor X is going to thwart down Superpower Training. We're going to give plus. And then we get, uh, I don't like how much I'm beefing up Hella. That's not actually the best, I don't think. We're going to go grab Solar Gym using the Superpower Training. And we're going to use Solar Gym to play Death Focus. We are going to go ahead and knock two damage here. <laughs> Thought about feeding Hello with side schemes. I played a cable deck against Hello. It's insane. What could go wrong? I don't know. <laughs> Shadow Chat is just vision too. <laughs> feed hella more feed hella more we're gonna switch over to intangible we're gonna reduce the amount of damage we take from each attack by two and then we're gonna stand up all righty i this board is so pretty i love this board we got mass increase there's 616 excellent phase disruption mission leader nice okay that's and then we got specialized training we could do it. We could do it. <laughs> no, that's insane, right? We're going to go up to five here on the main. Hella is going to attack us for four. We're going to block with X plus zero. We're going to knock X out, and then we're stunned here on Narm. Our right, encounter card, Concussive Blast. Deal one damage to each friendly character. Forgot that that's in the deck. That's going to be... That could be an issue for... Some of our allies. It'll be fine. Hell would be like, yeah, Nelson, feed me more power. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, okay. Um, okay, we are going to Solar Gym. And Quinn Carry to play Mission Leader. Get some card draw going. I think we're going to use Phase Disruption. 
to play 616 Hickory. Um, I kind of want to play specialized training. I know it's probably not the right thing to do, but I want to do it. New challenge. Sick. We'll take a look at it right after this. Yeah. You know what? We're going to do it. We're going to throw specialized training out there. Feed me, Seymour. Feed me. Uh, you know what? I'm going to, mm, I'm going to flip. I don't want to flip the dents. I'm going to take the one threat. I'm going to go ahead and thwart two here. Nah, that's fine. I'm going to thwart two here. Take this down to three. Then we're going to flip down to alter ego. And since we're an intangible, we do have plus one hand size, which is nice. Gene pool party. Defeat Unis using only hero with the pool aspect, one of whom must be Phoenix. Oh, interesting. So the challenge is play pool. <laughs> nice. Stand up. We got Reboot. Super Dent Strike. Machine Man. Visions Cape. X23. And a call for backup. I already have a Phoenix Pool deck built. Perfect. Nice. Nice. I didn't get to play the Rhino or the Absorbing Man one. How did those challenges go? I'm going to go two here. Take this up to seven out of 18. Hella is confused. Narm is going to do one. Then we got our card, which is Corrupted Programming. Exhaust your identity. Remove this from the game. Excellent. The Rhino one was awesome. Sick. Okay. Yeah, I think the Rhino one, because that's the Super Thanos with Rhino, that Villain Theory and Web Warrior Fanatic and I did, right? But it's like all of the attachments for Rhino. That's That's fun. Alrighty, we'll go ahead and uh, exhaust to remove this from the game. Seems seems good. Let's go six one six to go find Vivian. Auto Octavia Spider Man Redding cell phone is so <laughs> yeah, nice, nice. Okay, we got built pretty quickly. Wish it had tech. Oh, cell phone. You can call me on my cell phone. <laughs> nice. Um, alrighty. We also have a piercing with super dense strike. So that's also good to, to know. Alrighty. We are good down here. So let's go ahead and flip up to vision. Let's go Quinn carrier and solar gym to play Vivian. While we're in intangible math form, we get plus two thwart. Okay, so there's Vivian. Do you have War Machine in your deck? Yeah, I do. We're gonna go ahead and pump Hella up even more because why not, right? One, two, three. Excellent. That's good. That's what you want. Uh, when that clears, we're going to go find and get I may go the thwart route, actually. I may go, I may go the, uh, surveillance team. I don't have War Machine, no. I think that makes the most sense to do the thwart version. I think so. Because I think we can guarantee that we will probably thwart every single time. Um, but we are not going to necessarily guarantee that we're going to take damage. So I think we go thwart. They just dropped a new weekly one shot. Nice. Nice. And drawing a card in your turns is better than needing to take damage to get a card. That's very fair. Speaking of drawing cards, let's go mission leader to draw into a solar beam. Um, need a damage here. Let's. F Let's flip into dense form. 
draw a card into just passing through. Okay. We've got a... What do we want to do? Just passing through to play a reboot. We're going to heal one from Vision and Ready Vision. Vision is going to go ahead and punch Narm for two. Take Narm out. Actually, no, we're not. We're not going to do that. Vision is going to thwart two here. Because that gets us another card. Draw into team training. And then we have X-23. Oh, nice. Surveillance Specialist drew us that card. We're going to go with Machine Man, Super Dent Strike, and a call for backup to play X-23. X-23 is going to take out Narm, which will ready her. Oh, I said War Machine, not Machine Man. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> yeah, no, I have Machine Man, not War Machine. Rewind. <laughs> um, do we go solar? I think we go team training. I think we really want to get team training out here, especially with the under attack stuff that's coming our way. Um, honestly, we're just going to throw three damage at Hella with X23. And we're going to stand up. I'm going to start stacking my resource generators. We got built out really quickly. It's actually kind of impressive. All right. Stand up. We have five hand size. What do we get? Make the call, solar beam, rapid response, super dense strike, density control. I'm gonna go up to eight. I think we're gonna I think we're gonna chump lock this. Hell is coming at us for five. Seems like a lot. Seems like a lot to deal with. We're gonna chump with X23. So it's gonna be five. Attach Hell is crown. Uh after Hell is schemes, give her a face down boost card. Five still takes out X23. Surprisingly, though, surprisingly, still takes out X23. Now, Hella is scheming for six, so that's good. And then our oh, Hella against Stalwart. Okay, that's exciting. I was wondering, how did you have access to the Nightcrawler cards? Uh, I work with Fantasy, or I, I, I have, they Fantasy Flight reached out and asked if I would like to spoil some of the cards. Um, alrighty. Well, that's pretty fun. Huh. Cool. Cool, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Um, okay. So we have to take out Hella. We have to take out Hella here. And so when Hella flips, uh, after a side scheme is defeated, we flip Hella back. So we probably want to take care of Nidalee. No. Nelson is the man in the industry. <laughs> Um, Hell is at 14. We have 2, 5, 13 with Solar Beam. I think we just start going for it. Because I we need to get rid of Stalwart. Um, and then she's going to just be scheming for 1. Which is a little bit easier to handle. And then I think we can... Sit on Nidofolier for a while. Because next one is a Amplify token, I believe. Yeah. Okay. Let's go Quinn Carrier, Solar, and Def Focus to play a Solar Beam to deal seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Vision is going to hit for one, two. Vivian is going to hit for one, two, three, down to two. Trying to think if I could I make the call, but I wouldn't have enough money to pump. Oh no, he's at two. So I could get Machine Man out if I wanted to. Yeah. So let's go make the call for a rep. 
paying with a rapid response and a super dense strike to pull machine man into play and then machine man is going to attack i'm going to spend a density control for him to attack for two which will knock hella out we discard these attachments which is the big part then after a side scheme is defeated we flip her back okay i think we're going to stay in or we're going to flip to or intangible but then we can take the attack pretty easily so i think that works we'll stand up i still i love this gym here that's so cool all right i think if we can i don't think we have another make the call but if we do, we'll pull in Professor X, start working on this and confuse Hella, and we can flip down. Got side-by-side -side density control, make the call, Nicholas Fury, and a energy. All right. Don't forget. <laughs> I love this. This is so fun. Don't forget. It is. I mean, like... You're not, it's, it's big. You're going to see it. Oh, we do have a make the call. Heck yeah. All righty. Perfect. All right. We're going to start. We're going to go up to 10 out of 18. It is time to hydrate. Cheers, my friends. The, the don't forget, like, I think like mechanically, maybe the best token that they, I mean, like these, these are just. They're, they're fantastic. Hell is going to attack us. We'll take it. It's going to be one, two. We reduce the amount of damage we take by two. So we're good there. And then our encounter card is a the waste of Niflheim. Take one indirect damage. Take one indirect damage for each side scheme in the victory display. Bummer. So that's four. I think we're going to pile it on. We're going to go three here and one on me. Ow. It hurts. Okay. Sweet. Let's go ahead and start out by... Let's thwart the main for two. Take that down to eight. No, for three. I'm sorry. Oh, and I need my plus one. Nice. Nice. I suggest giving her more side schemes. <laughs> what 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 could go wrong? We got a surveillance specialist drawing us a reboot. Nice. I want my I want my sidekick. Um okay, let's go make the call. We're gonna go Solar Gym, Quinn Carrier, and a side by side to play Charles Xavier. When he enters play, we're going to confuse Hella. Okay. X is going to thwart for three here, taking this down to four. I probably could have gone here, actually. Um, Hmm. Um, I'm trying to figure out if I want to play Nick Fury or I could like get reboot, like heal up Vivian a little bit. Nick Fury is going to, she's hella confused. <laughs> nice. <laughs> um, we already have a blocker with X. Honestly, we don't really probably even need the blocker if we're going to stay in intangible. We could flip to dense form. If we flip to dense form, we get to draw a card. We're going to shuffle up our deck. And then we would have two encounter cards, meaning that it would be make more sense to put Nick on the table because then if one of those is an attack, keep Nick for next turn. Is that super? Oh, that's superpower. I like that. I like that. Yeah, I think we keep Nick for next turn. Sweet. Good call. Um, okay, so let's go death focus for a density control. After you change mass form, I can discard this card to add a vision event from our discard pile to our hand. Just note with Hickory out and no psychic, it's not mandatory to keep Vivian out. That's yeah. That's that's a that's a good call. That's a good point. Yeah. 
I think, yeah. It's, it's also just a way to heal her. So let's go ahead and just thwart for three here. I like that. I like that. So if we take that down, Vivian gets knocked out. She gets put back into the discard pile. And then... Then I think at that point I am gonna just play Nick. Um so I'm hanging on to no I actually I can reboot myself. Just kidding. I'm just kidding. So we're gonna keep density control on the table. And then we're gonna use a energy to play reboot. So we're gonna heal one damage from me, ready myself, and then we're gonna thwart for three off the main. I like to keep the main kind of in check. Knowing that this is within striking distance, we can we can knock this out in a little bit. Um but I also don't want to really flip her right now. So we're going to stand up. We're going to keep Nick. I'm going to draw into his strength, get an encounter card, and reshuffle our cards. And I do believe that next turn is when we will flip down to Alter Ego. Treating those androids like objects. Used to used and thrown away. No wonder Skynet. <laughs> Some mornings I wish I could reboot myself. Heard that. Heard that. <laughs> Alrighty. We got X23 is back. Side by side. And a side by side. What a great. I love card cycling now. Alrighty, we're going to go up to three on the main. Hell is going to attack. We'll block with X for one. After this activation ends, place a pursuit counter on pursuit by the past. Just like that. Hell, or Professor X doesn't die. Villain Theory confirmed as an android. <laughs> yeah, Professor actually, actually survived the attack, which is hilarious. Let's get some more indirect damage. Tough and Tumble. Each enemy with a tough status card is attacks. You have no enemy activated this way. Again, Surge. So let's Surge into an Exhaustion. We're going to Surge and Exhaust our Identity into a Dark Designs. Place one Pursuit Counter. Then Hell is going to Scheme. Hell is Confused. Then we've got the Queen of Hell. Hella attacks you. Place one threat on each side scheme. Well, that was a lot. That, that was a lot that happened. Uh, we'll take the attack. Uh, so it's going to be one plus three. Of course it is. So that is going to be four total. We'll take two. One, two. Because we're an intangible. End of the round. X goes away. That That was a surge train. But I'm pretty happy with how we were able to handle it. In terms of like... We, we, we feel pretty much in control right now. Um, I'm exhausted. All right. Let's go strength side by side, side by side to play Nick Fury. We're going to draw three cards. Got density control, black knight, and a just passing through. We are going to def focus just passing through to clear three off of here. Oh, there's a sound. Hey, thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. Hope you're doing well, X Pump. I knew it. Don't sleep. Just plug in and recharge. <laughs> okay. Okay. We could thwart down Nidifolier. I think I want to spend one more turn keeping Hella at a one scheme. So I think I'm going to mess with Odin's Torment with Nick. Thwart here. Take that down to one. We're going to go Quinn Carrier, Solar Gym, and a X-23 to play Black Knight. Get ready for the Tufts coming in. We do have a density control. We could flip to dense form. Draw a card to be able to play density control. But what we're giving up there is a plus one card in. No, we can actually Hickory Branch Lane to pull Machine Man. Use Machine Man or for anything, really. Yeah, okay. That's better because I'd rather have the card, the extra hand size in Alter Ego than I would 
Yeah. Okay. So let's flip down to vision. 616 is going to go search and grab. We're actually going to grab machine man because that's going to put machine man into our discard pile. And so we can use, make the call to grab him. Whereas we know we're grabbing Vivian with 616. So it just gives us an, uh, another option instead of grabbing Vivian. We're going to use Machine Man to play Density Control. Black Knight's going to hang out and we're going to stand up. Now we're very much ready to hit Nidal Valir. Um, honestly, we could probably hit Nidal Valir and pretty, pretty easily take out who's the next one? Um, Scourge. He gains piercing. Only five health. Oh yeah, we're we'll be we'll be golden. We've got solar beam. Phase disruption. Side by side. Give me genius. Reboot. Sidekick. There it is. Alrighty. Okay. 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 It's happening. It's happening. Let's go up to three here. Hello's gonna scheme for one. Uh, two takes us to five. Woo! And then our encounter card, the Queen of Hell. Hella schemes, place one threat on each side scheme. So Hell is going to scheme for one, two, takes us up to seven. I think my rat is a minion of Hella. She just stole my earbud and ran. <laughs> Don't you only get five cards in Alter Ego? Because I am in intangible form, I get plus one hand size. And so that's that's actually printed on the card. Or no, it's printed right here. While I'm in intangible mass form, I get plus one hand size. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. Alrighty. It is our turn. Let's go six one six to go grab Vivian. It's working. It's oh Nick is gone. Okay. We have seven health. We could heal. No, I think I'd rather have the card draw, honestly. Yeah. Okay. Okay, we're 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 pretty happy right now, actually. Um, okay, let's go ahead and flip up to vision. Let's have vision go ahead and thwart two here. That's going to trigger surveillance specialist and draw us into Vision's cape. All right. Genius is going to play Vivian. While we are in intangible form, Vivian is going to thwart for three off of Nidifolir. We got plus four. And then we're going to get Amplify token and Scourge. Tough. And this comes in with four. Couple of things happen at this point. We need a damage here. Mission leader is going to trigger, and I'm going to draw into make the call. Okay, sweet. Okay. And hell is going to flip back. That's what it was. All right. So hell is going to flip back. We've got a plus four, so that is plus 12. So she's at. Uh, 21 health. I was like, there's one more thing. I know there's one more thing. I just don't remember what it was. Okay. So 21 health. So that's good. Um, <laughs> we've got a solar gem to play a psychic on Vivian. So we get plus two. Let's find that psychic token. Now I'm like I I need to I need to come up with a better organize for all these tokens. So sidekick plus two health. Hella is fed up. <laughs> yeah right. Hella Hella is gonna hurt. Uh, Black Knight is gonna pierce attack two here. Do we have a reboot? We do have a reboot. Let's freaking go. Heck. Yes. Um, let's flip into dense. Uh, actually, before we do that, before we do that, let's use a phase disruption and a solar beam 
to play Vision's Cape. We are going to flip. Nope, that's not how you flip. We're going to flip into dense form. When we flip into dense form, we get to draw a card. Just make the call. And we're going to proc at least one of these density controls, I think. Yeah. I'm going to use one of these density controls. To grab a solar beam. Just making sure that I have enough money. We're going to Quinn Carrier there. Um, we can side by side to ready Vivian again. Then we have a solar beam. I don't think we actually need the solar beam. Is there a one cost of power? No. We're going to leave the density control. Interesting. Okay. But check this out. This is this is pretty sick, actually. Um, okay. We will Quinn carry to play a reboot. So we're going to heal one from Vivian and ready her. And then we're going to attack for three, which will take Scourge out. Now she has one on her. We are going to use make the call and make the call to play side by side. Ready our hero and sidekick. We can choose to either heal one damage from both characters or they both get plus one thwart and plus one attack until the end of the phase. I 100%, that didn't matter. I was going to use, um... oh no, that, I should have side by side first then rebooted second with Vivian. That would have that would have been better because I could have used Vision's basic attack to take out um, Scourge and then had two attacks of four on Hela. So sequencing very much mattered there because I think we are just going to do plus one, plus one. And then we're going to throw four, uh, seven total at Hela. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, down to 14. And we are we are good. Forgot the damage there. We're gonna stand up. I want that mass increase. I think mass increase would be an amazing pull right now, um, because I don't necessarily want to chump with Black Knight, especially since we haven't seen Armadillo. So Black Knight would be great to have still on the table. So let's get that Solar Beam reboot, reboot energy, rapid response. Heck yeah, let's go. Heck yeah. Okay. Uh, this is actually gone. So we're going to go up to six on the main. Hella is going to attack for seven plus a boost card. So we're going to block with Black Knight. Deal one damage to each character you control. One, one, one. Black Knight is still alive, so Black Knight will soak the attack. It is so brutal when this boost card takes out the ally that you're defending, then it becomes undefended and you lose the game. Tough. We're so built out. I love this. This is amazing. All right. Encounter card. Roll and roll and attached armadillo. If he's not in play, search the encounter deck and discard power for armadillo. Put him into play and attach this card to him. Armadillo comes in with toughness. After Armadillo activates against you, give him a tough status card. While he has a tough status card, characters cannot defend against his attacks. Got a hell. Good luck. Thank you. Two reboots. Vivian is going to destroy. Right? Do I have a super dense strike? I do not. I do have a solar beam. Um, that That's not great. Yeah. I'm still, like, I'm still okay with that choice, though. I'm still okay with the choice to, to, to throw Black Knight under the bus. Um... Okay. Uh, okay. We are going to thwart. I'm going to take three off of here. Take this down to one. That surveillance specialist is going to draw us into a solar beam. Well, that's pretty awesome. Um, I don't know why I did that. I 
think I probably should have attacked Armadillo. No, that's fine. Okay. We're going to use Vivian's activation to knock the tough here. Okay. Let's go Solar Gym to play a reboot to ready Vivian and heal a damage. Vivian's going to go three. We're going to use a Death Focus and a Energy to play Solar Beam to take out Armadillo. I uh, I think I'm in trouble here. Um, no, I can, no, I I'm in trouble. Hell is scheming for. Seven plus a boost. So maybe maybe I'm not in. Horrible trouble. But I don't want to block with Vivian. I don't think I can take an attack. I could flip down seven. We're at six. We could probably survive a scheme. Do we have another dark design in here? We can't survive two. We got two Queen of Hells. There's one. Yeah, we've we've hit both of our dark designs. So I think we should be okay-ish if we flip down. Um. Okay, we're going to flip to intangible. YOLO! Yeah, right? <laughs> flip to intangible. I don't think we're going to trigger density control. Or are we? we can reboot. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and trigger density control. We're going to trigger both of them, actually. We're going to grab... Uh, I don't think it really matters. Phase disruption... And just passing through. Yeah, sick. Okay. We're going to use Quinn Carrier, Phase Disruption, and Rapid Response to play Solar Beam to remove 5 threat from the main. We're going to just passing through to reboot, to heal and ready vision. We're going to flip down to Alter Ego. We're going to make a basic recovery for 3. 1, 2, 3, and heal 2 from Vivian. Okay. Hell is going to scheme like crazy, but I think we will be protected. We have a lot of thwarting, and so I'm not too, too concerned. Oh, I, I didn't have to... You know what? I'm going to leave one of my uh, density controls. I'm going to use 616 to grab Machine Man, and then use Machine Man to pay instead of getting rid of the density control. So that's a better move. All right, let's stand up. Now Vivian is much healthier. So that's good. We got two, four, six. We do deck out. That's a little, little unfortunate. But I think we'll be good. I think I think we'll be okay here. Um, if we survive this turn, we can definitely go grab or move on to the next phase. Which is an extra encounter card every round. We've already dealt with Armadillo. Armadillo actually was not that tough. Yeah, uh, yeah, uh, pun, pun. Armadillo is not that tough. Uh, mass increase, super didn't strike. I should have known that mass increase was coming. Now that I think about it, I guess there was a chance I didn't draw it, but mass increase was still in the deck, so I would have been protected if I had stayed up. Just passing through, make the call, super didn't strike, and a call for backup. Okay. And also with Hella being so powerful, I do think that I want to go through these side schemes and only defeat her one more time rather than try and defeat her multiple more, many more times. Okay, we're going to go one here. Hella's going to scheme for seven, eight. So that takes us to ten. We got two cards. And then this was if a damage is done, if damage is 
defeats an ally. Evil Alliance. We're going to get our nemesis minion. It's Ultron. All right. Ultron comes in with toughness. When Ultron attacks you, if Ultron drones is in play, put the top card of your deck into play. Face down with you as a drone minion. Ultron Unleashed. When revealed, search the encounter deck. Discard battle set aside area for Ultron drones. Put it into play. Shuffle the encounter deck. Each player puts the top card of their deck into play. Face down with them as a drone minion. Point with three. And then Ultron drones just say that they are like one one ones. We got Relentless Android. We're gonna we're gonna get more drones. Okay. Cool. We still have a card. That's exciting. Uh drawing near. After your turn begins, place a or discard a card and place a counter there. Alrighty. So sort of my turn, we're gonna place one counter here. I don't think I have a way to ready. Do I care about drawing near? I don't think I care about I don't think I care about it. I do think I'm not gonna take this out. I need to clean up some stuff first. Um Yeah, I do I mm, Yeah, I think I'd rather have the card than I would getting rid of drawing near. Especially because drawing near we, we have a lot of interactions with our discard power with uh, density control and make the call. And so getting stuff in the discard pile is not the end of the world. And we're, we're pretty far away. We've already pulled in. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to just hang out there. Okay. We're not going to exhaust for that. We are at 10 health. Okay. Let's go Hickory branch to grab machine man. We're gonna have so many cards. I forgot how much how much card draw he has. Do you have Squirrel Girl? I do not have Squirrel Girl. No, that would be a good call. It's so satisfying to just wipe the board with Squirrel Girl. Alrighty. We are going to. We're good down here. I'm gonna flip up to Vision. I'm gonna basic thwart Ultron Unleashed to clear that. Surveillance special triggers to draw into a genius and then mission leader triggers to draw into a make the call. Okay. We're going to go deaf focus to play just passing through to remove three threat from the main. Take that down to seven. Just while we're here, right? Um, okay. We're going to... Is there anything else we need to do in... Intangible, there's not. So we're going to flip to dense form. We'll draw into a reboot. Excellent. Excellent. Let's go genius to play a super dense strike. So we'll deal five damage piercing. Um, one health left. I feel like they meant to do that. I feel like she's an auto include for leadership vision. Yeah, that's, that's fair. That's fair. Okay. Let's go Solar Gym, Quinn Carrier for Machine Man. Machine Man will go ahead and take out Ultron. I think especially now that we're pretty... It, it's more likely than not that we will see Shadows. So I think that she's even better now. We don't have any allies in our discard pile, sadly. Ooh, 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 ooh. Nice. Nice. I get to use it. That's exciting. Okay. I'm going to hang on to mass increase. So let's go Vivian for three. One, two, three. Let's go uh, make the call for a reboot. It's a ready and we'll deal three more. One, two, three. Hanging on to mass increase. And we're going to... 
goes super dense strike to hit hella for one, two, three, four, five, down to three. Hanging on to mass increase, which is our defense option. So we're going to stand up. Oh, I forgot about that. Um, What I should have done, this is too far uh, to, to rewind, but what I should have done is attacked here to see if this was an ally. I think I'm going to have Vivian attack here. We're going to heal three. It's a strength. But like since I had to make the calls in my hand, I could have seen if that was an ally to to pull them back in. But now, now I'm happy that wasn't. So we got mass increase. We're gonna stand up. Sweet. Mass increase. X23. Density control. Solar beam. And a energy. Alrighty. Hello, Gorizmo. How's it going? Hope you're doing well. How was your weekend? Oh. Okay, we're gonna go to eight here. Hella is going to attack. Um, we're gonna Quinn Carrier. Wind Vision Defense, that's a little annoying. I forgot about that. So we'll go ahead and block, I guess, with a mass increase. Uh, wind Vision Defense, prevent all damage from that attack. So Hella's attacking us for infinity. And she gains piercing. Uh, so we prevent all damage and we're going to stun Hella. Nice. Okay. Then we've got one encounter card. Take one indirect, take five indirect damage. That's less than ideal. Um, cool. Oh, one, two, three, four, five. We'll do that. We'll we'll drop us down. I think if we can figure out how to confuse, we're gonna be feeling pretty decent. Um The other thing that we could do is actually throw three damage here and only take I think we're gonna do that. We're gonna knock out machine man. Knowing that we have 616 and probably heading back down pretty soon. Not bad, you. What's going on here? Superman and Supergirl versus Hella? Yeah, so we unboxed a package sent by by the same token. And in there was this new hero board for Vision. And it was so pretty that we had to play him. So, uh, so we're doing that. And then someone suggested Hella. And I did not think about... And it's a sidekick uh, deck. So... It's a good, it's a good, it's, it's a, it's a good time. Um, okay. Density control can grab just passing through. We could roll the dice again. Yeah. Yeah, my favorite thing, which Villain pointed out, is half of it's dense, half of it's intangible. Which is pretty cool. We also got a Cyclops and a Guardians board. So, yeah. But the the, the Vision one is just so stunning. Oh, oh. That hit my back. Oh, we're good. We're good. We're good. Okay. Um... Oh, Hella's stunned. That's big, actually. <laughs> I was like, I don't know how we're going to do this, but Hella is stunned. That's how we're going to do it. Um, I don't... I want to get Black Knight. I want to get ready for this next... I want to get ready for Nidhogg. Um, have you ever considered looking into custom content for champions? I have. Um, I've looked at them, I, and I love looking at them. I don't own a printer. I also, like, there's so much content that's kind of here, and so I, I enjoy playing it. I have played um, some of the determination aspect from Design Hacker. I know that they designed some stuff, and so I did the determination aspect. And I think that's really the only custom content I've played, played. So I don't want to take out Hella. It, 
if we take out I don't I, I really don't think I'm ready to I think next turn I will be okay because I can density control into super dense strikes. So even if I don't get Black Knight, I can I can hit um I can I can hit the uh super dense strike for the piercing and take out Nagog there. So I think that's the right call. So we are going to flip into intangible form. We're gonna go Death Focus, Solar Gym, and a I don't love that, honestly. Um And a density control to play solar beam, but no, I don't have, I wouldn't be able to play X23. Okay, so we're gonna hang on to density. We're gonna use energy. We're just not gonna use solar gym. So energy, death focus to play solar beam, remove five. I'm with you, Giant. I think solar beam, solar beam is one of those cards that I think is better than I remember it being. Determination is cool. I haven't made a deck in it. It's really cool. It's really, really cool. Solar Beam will play Density Control. Um, I'm going to stay in Alter Ego. Or stay, stay. Oh, shoot. I didn't remember, even though. Okay. No, there's Black Knight. Put that there. <laughs> um, Vivian will go ahead and thwart three here. I think what we're looking at is trying to push here, take out, because we're we're gonna we're gonna be pretty flush with cash. You need to don't forget token to remember you don't. Yeah, my so my bad excuse, which I I know it's not really an excuse, but anything like there's a line that's about here, on on the table that from my angle I cannot see anything here just from like the lights you can kind of see it because my light i messed up placing it so like this is like kind of glary here on the the but everything let me see if i can catch it everything looks like that here and over just the way that i have to set up the lights to get like good lighting on the table and so i can't i just have to remember and so that's i usually just don't look which is a bad but i'm gonna put that here <laughs> Put it, don't forget on the, just put them everywhere. <laughs> then they, then they lose all meaning, right? Trying to figure out if there's a, nah. Okay. Oh, hundred percent. Please continue to make fun of me for it. It is, it is absolutely worth being made fun of for. Uh, we're going to hang on to X23. Because we're probably going to use X23 to do the final blow for there. Meaning that we get to ready. And we're going to draw into a solar beam. That's really nice. A reboot is also really nice. Phase disruption. Okay. Reboot. That's, that's all we got. We're going to add one threat. Hella is going to be stunned. And our one encounter card is nowhere is safe. Plays one pursuit counter. And we have to discard a upgrade or a attachment we control. It's going to be density control. But unfortunately, that means we are going to pull Ultron back. <laughs> Too late for matte sleeves, I guess. Matte sleeves are better. Uh, but I like the clear. I think clear provides a better camera. Like, it looks better on camera for the clear. But, like, the back of these sleeves are matte. So, it's, like, matte gloss. But the matte, like, I can still see. All right, still... So, can't really see it, but it's a little bit better. Um, okay. Don't forget. There goes X. And then we're going to pull out Ultron. Hey, Catastrophic. How's it going? Welcome. Okay. Um do we care? Are are we able to take out both of those guys? We're go we're going to draw two cards. 
we have a make the call. Doing all right. I'm doing good. I'm doing good. I'm happy to be back. I'm trying to figure out what my life looks like. I think worst case in terms and what my life looks like in terms of this game. <laughs> I well, we're uh, we just got Ultron back, and I do want to push this. If I push that. And we have 12 damage with piercing that we have to do. We do have a Black Knight in the discard pile. We have one, two. We do have the potential of drawing into a make the call. We could also, do we have two? Oh, we discarded a density control. So we can grab a super dense strike. I love those. Don't forget to, right? <laughs> right? I just got them from by the same token. Nelson, you have forgotten to feed me. Ah! <laughs> um... We have multiple reboots, so I think if we can deal with, we, we're we're gonna be fine. We're gonna be fine. We can we can absolutely do this. So, okay, we're gonna start with a. We also don't have any side. We have side by sides coming up, so we should be fine. We're gonna thwart here. Okay, when defeated, we're gonna go get these other two, and then we're gonna get plus one. Where do I put my token? Uh oh. Right there. So we're at five. So one, two, three health. We got uh, halls. So this comes in with five threat. And we've got Nigog. Comes in with six health and toughness. Okay. We're going to surveillance specialist to draw into a side by side. Now we're cooking. Let's go. Mission leader will draw us into a Nick Fury. There's our defense. Feeling very, very good now. Okay. Let's go ahead and switch to dense form. Uh, we're going to draw into a solar... Oh, gosh. We're feeling pretty good. Density control is going to proc. And we're going to go grab a super dense strike. And now look at this two, four, six, eight, nine cards. Let's go. Uh, Death Focus and a Solar Gem is going to play a super dense strike uh, to hit here. Deal five damage with piercing. Nice. Um, Vivian will go ahead and take him out. Okay, she has one health left, so we're good. Uh, let's go ahead and go Quinn Carrier and a Phase Disruption to play a side-by-side. -side. So we're going to uh, ready, ready, heal one from each. No, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm going to do, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Okay. How do we want to do this? Let's go ahead and knock the tough here. I don't think we're going to be able to do enough damage. So we're going to put Nick Fury onto the table. I'm going to drop these these four for Nick. And we're going to draw three cards. We've got side by side again. Nice rapid response. And a make the call. Now I kind of want to pull Professor X out. I don't think we need to. Um, okay, if we do... We're exhausted here. We have... Uh, okay, here we go. Uh, we're going to go th three damage to Hella. One, two, three. Going to deal damage there. 
Okay. Nick is going to go two damage here. Wait, two, six. Can we do it? I think we actually have it. We actually have it. Uh, Nick's going to go two here. One, two. We're going to go rapid response, make the call to play a side by side. Which will ready, ready. We'll heal one, heal one. We'll go two, five. One, two, three, four, five. We're going to flip to vision. 616 will pull machine man. We're going to use machine man to play reboot to ready, heal, lethal. Oh, no, we can't. No. Oh, I forgot about that. Oh, that's funny. Okay, so uh, we're done. <laughs> Oh gosh, that's so funny. Um, okay, we're gonna use Nick and, um, or we're gonna use two of Vivian's activations on Ultron to take Ultron out, and we're gonna heal six. One, two, three, four, five, six. I, I just, I, I just, I, uh, I, I thought, I thought I saw, I thought I saw it. I did not see it. That was bad. That. Oh no. That's like when, when like the receiver turns the head before they catch the ball. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's uh, let's hopefully not lose that was that was not great yikes all righty we've got a side by side and i think vivian needs one more yeah <laughs> all righty okay well that's exciting um cool <laughs> all righty so hell is at seven we got some threat to take care of Oh, that's so oh my gosh, that's so funny. Okay. Good. Good, good, good. Um We got side by side, we got reboot. We got density control. Just passing through. My blood pressure. <laughs> uh call for backup. Two, four, five. Alrighty. We got one here. Hell is gonna scheme for seven plus a boost. Plus zero. Well that's nice. So we go up to nine. Okay, we got three cards coming our way. Hell is Domain, place one threat on the main scheme, place one additional threat for each scheme. So that's gonna be six threat. It's gonna take us up to 15. We got under attack. Each player chooses to either place two threat here or deal three damage to their hero. We'll take three, one, two, three. And then we've got Rinless Android. Uh, top two cards into play as drone minions. All righty. That, yeah. Oops. Nice to see some vision gameplay. Let's go, Daring Lime. How you doing? We're not going to forget. We're going to discard and get one here. Nick is going to go. 616 will grab Machine Man. Okay. We're going to heal for five. One, two, three, four, five. Heal two off of Vivian. Okay, so, okay, we're we're gonna get there. We're going to get there. We're gonna figure this out. Um, actually, I think we'll be, we will have Odin. Okay, so I think what we'll do, do we have? We don't have any alter ego stuff that we need to do. So let's go ahead and flip up to Vision. Is there anything that we need to do? Let's go Def Focus to play Density Control.
Vivian is going to swing for three at Hella. One, two, three. She's down to one. Okay. We are going to use uh, Solar and Quinn to play side by side. So we're going to ready, ready. And we're going to heal from both. No, I'm I'm over my max somehow. Okay, so yeah, we'll still we'll get we'll give the plus one plus one. Okay, we are going to flip into intangible form. We're gonna proc density control to grab solar beam. Okay. Vivian is going to. Did I forget this? I think I did. Actually, I, I may have actually remembered. Um, we're going to go just passing through Machine Man, call for backup to play Solar Beam to move five threat from Halls. So plus one there. She gets one, two, three health. Forgot about that health. I'm not going to lie to you right now. I forgot that she was going to get more health. Uh, mission leader is going to proc. We're going to get a solar beam. Um, we're going to thwart for four here, I guess. Clear that. Surveillance specialist is going to draw us into a make the call. Vivian is going to thwart three here. Take that down to two. Nope, four there because of the side by side. Uh, make the call will reboot. We need a card actually from that. To ready, we're going to thwart four more. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. We're not thwarting. We're going to attack because we have plus one. So that's going to be two. We're going to reboot, ready, and attack for two. We had it. We had it. Okay. Gosh. I, 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 I wanted the victory so bad that I just, like, I thought we had it last turn, and it set me up for some major issues this round. That's pretty funny, though. Um, Oh, we also have Odin. So Odin's another three. So. Whew. Because once we defeat that, that scheme, we have Odin. But we didn't even need him. You saw red and the scenario said no. Yeah, I went, in, I went into my blood rage that Vision has. Excellent. Oh my gosh, that was intense. Cool. This, yeah, this board, I'm glad, I'm glad, like, I'm glad it, it got me to break Vision back out because I think this was a really fun matchup. It was pretty tense as well. But Vision Psychic is good. I'm, I, I think Villain, I think you're the one who recommended that for this game. I'm, I was happy with that. With 616 being able to recur, it takes away a lot of the clunkiness that I've found with Psychic. So that's nice. Oh, you! I asked to play this game because the scenario is next in your campaign. Nice. Nice. Excellent. That was very tense. Let's go. GG Spidey. Let's go. Nice. Nice. Yeah, no, that was, that was awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Awesome. Sweet. Okay, so I will be back on um, Wednesday. Wednesday morning, I'm going to be back. We're going to be doing some Lord of the Rings. We're going to be playing through the Sands of Harak. Deluxe expansion, the second expand or the second scenario there. So I'm looking forward. Geez, sorry, I've got the hiccups all of a sudden. Uh, looking forward to doing that. And then on Friday we're gonna be playing some more Spirit Island because Spirit Island is amazing. Um, yeah. Till then, I hope everybody victory hiccups. Let's go. Yes. Ah, <laughs> uh, nice. Until then, I hope everyone has a fantastic day. Spirit Island. Woo. Yes. It's so good. It's so good. Um, but yeah. I appreciate all y'all. Hope you have a good one. We'll see you on Wednesday. Peace.